This children's python just laid a clutch of eggs. The first thing I do is gently remove her so I could collect the eggs and incubate them. She could incubate them, but I prefer to do it myself for two main reasons. When they become pregnant, they often stop eating. So after laying their eggs, they have lost a considerable amount of weight. And they typically won't start eating again until after the eggs hatch. But if I remove the eggs, it takes her out of egg protection mode and gets her living and eating normally again. And because I could precisely control the environment in my incubator, the chances for successfully hatching the eggs is much higher. These children's python eggs are on day 6 of incubation. And I noticed the eggs started to dent a little. But it's not significant and these eggs are looking fantastic. When eggs start to dent in early on during incubation, it's usually because the humidity is too low. I'll add a layer of plastic wrap to hold in that humidity and these eggs should be fine. These children's pythons are due to hatch in 24 days. Despite maintaining a high level of humidity, the eggs are starting to dent in. Here you could see the difference from when they were first laid. This is a normal part of incubation and actually these eggs have given me no problems at all. These children's python eggs are on day 43 of what in the world? This was totally unexpected. I didn't expect to see these snakes hatch for another two weeks. Aside from that one, I don't see any others in the egg box. But as I inspect the eggs, I could see that at least another three hatch. And there's still two that have yet to pip. So that leaves me to wonder where the other three are. Since that one was on its way out of the egg box, I'm going to check to see if the others already made it out. And it didn't take long to find them at the very bottom of my incubator. I would like to mention that a children's python holds the record for the most most escapes in the Molinero snake lab. So it appears that not only are these snakes born with all the skills and abilities to hunt and survive on their own, but they're also born escape artists. I'll transfer these little ones into a more secure location, and then I'll keep them on a damp paper towel until they have their first shed. So we got children's pythons. What an unexpectedly awesome day. These children's pythons are on day 44 of incubation. Yesterday we had a big surprise when four of the eggs hatched sooner than we expected them to. Let's see how the other two are doing. You could see where the hatchlings use their egg tooth to slice open the egg and crawl out. There were six eggs in this clutch and four of the snakes already made their way out. So there's two eggs left in the clutch and I'm not really sure what to think about them. They didn't hatch with the other snakes which sometimes is not a good sign. But the eggs still look pretty viable and those other snakes hatched kind of early. So as they say, I'm going to incubate until there is no debate. And here are the little babies that already hatched. It looks like they've all settled down and are just kind of cuddled up right now. As soon as the snakes hatch from the eggs, I like to start to interact with them. This gets them used to human handling and helps make them much more docile. These children's pythons hatched one week ago. You can see that right out of the egg, they like to climb. In addition to hunting rodents, frogs, and lizards, in the wild, they'll often climb cave walls to hunt bats. Or they'll climb trees to feed on small birds. Judging by how vibrant and crisp their colors are, it looks like these little ones just had their first shed. Here you could see their shed skin. And it all came off in one nice piece, which means the humidity is good. So now, like with all my snakes, after the first shed, I'll separate them into their own enclosure. And then I'll offer them their first meal. It can sometimes be tricky to get baby snakes to start eating, but this is the most active clutch that I have ever hatched, so I'm hoping that they built up an appetite and they take to eating right away.